Hey, Mark Warnke here. Um, so this is the little guy, I call him Stripe, um, that had the polio earlier. And you can see he's happy, bouncy, everybody's good, wiggling tail, um, full neurologic, got his balance back. And he had it back, so you know, in about 12 hours. Um, and the only reason he did is because I was able to recognize it so early. Most of the times I see problems with goat polio is because people recognize it so late. So I just did a huge, like a piece on the goat club members membership, which if you're one of the people that watch this video and said, wow, I didn't ever know that goat polio was possible or you had lost one or you're newer to goats. There's so many little nuances to owning goats that you'll learn by being a member of the goat club. I just highly recommend you are. So I didn't want to turn this into a goat club thing, but I did a big piece on the goat club membership to the people on goat polio. And so you guys got to see the symptoms. I didn't spend much time explaining what you should do and why. So when goats through, go through stress, they deplete their brains of thymine. And now it's a multi-chemical chain reaction that I'm not gonna get all into, but they basically deplete thymine in their brain and then it becomes a neurologic disorder. Day one, instantly, it shows up as lethargy, it shows up as confusion, shows up as staring off into space, different call. It's very subtle symptoms and it's hard to catch unless you really are around your goat a lot and you just recognize something's different with him. Remember, vitamin B is something that's very difficult to overdose them on. So I recommend everybody should have vitamin B paste in their medicine cabinet if you're a goat owner and you should have vitamin B injectable. Um, and this is a multi, multi, it's a cattle, it's a, a cattle mineral or a cattle um, vitamin. This is the injectable and it's injected at five milliliters per hundred. And then the paste, you just squirt some in their mouth and it's simple. The, the, the reason I like the paste is because people who don't know what they're doing can do the paste really easy. Um, and uh, it's just simple and it's not intimidating. So newer goat owners can just give this without having to know how to give a shot. And it's a little amount. See that little amount right there? So it's just a little gap of an amount will squirt out like this much of it into his mouth. And you literally just, you just put it in here and these little babies, they like it. So you just squirt it in there and done. So now he just got it in there and it's just a simple way. So here's my rule. If you don't know what's going on, you're just like, man, he's just not the same. Give him vitamin B. It's not gonna hurt him and it may save him. I think what happens a lot of times with goat polio is it happens and then owners miss it. And then the goats kind of work their way through it slowly but surely and it doesn't dive off deep. For the ones that are diving off deep, you really have to have this and the injectable. Now this little guy, I actually did both. I injected him and I gave him paste. After I did that video, I thought, you know, he's right on the border. I better give him a shot. So I gave him, I gave him a shot as well. And he was recovered 12, uh, uh, like 12 hours later. So remember, day one, lethargy, just kind of off. What's wrong? I don't quite, usually not usually stumbly yet, but maybe just a little bit. And then day two, is definitely stumbly, acting drunk, acting completely different, um, having difficulty standing, laying down, not being involved, just not right at all. And day three is seizures, blindness, um, all kinds of different things that are gonna be instantly recognizable. And that's at the point where you're starting to get into like permanent brain damage and you may never be able to bring them back. So you need to recognize on day one or day two. So if you ever have an adult, a baby, a doe, a anything that a goat, you're just like, man, he's just not right. Give him some paste. It can be the wonder cure for something. It's that ticking time bomb that may have just been lit and you just don't know. And it can always be so helpful and it kind of is like giving them a little boost. Um, so I highly suggest it. So that's Mark Warnke. That's the update on little Stripe here. He's doing good. Um, hope you find that helpful. Oh, and don't forget, um, like and subscribe and pass along this and if you aren't already a member be a member and we hope you find it helpful